right folks it's John here again um, I'd just like to give you a bit of the product review today it's um, half round wheel levelers we've had these ones quite a few years now and um, there's a reason for that these ones aren't open um, first thing I come across the well not these ones but a similar product while we was in the States um, as we most of us motorhomers do, or we called into an RV place to have a look around, and they had something very similar but twice the size. Um, so when I come, when we got back home, we found these on eBay. Um, we thought they were buying, you know, getting, a, see how they go, to see what they're like. Um, unfortunately, um, for some reason, uh, Maypole sells them separately they don't come as a pair which it, to me is a strange idea for leveling chocks um so we ordered them they came a lot they came and we went off then to portugal for three months and while we were there we had um our old fostering day motor home which i've spoken about on an earlier video um it was three and a half ton so it shouldn't have had any problem with these these are a weight limit I don't know if you can see that there five ton and we unfortunately had a bad experience with the first lot we had um, we got up on them parked up we stayed at the campsite for two just over two weeks and when we come to back off on Carol noticed that they had split both of them had split straight down where the wheel was, the center of the wheel was on both sides, on both leveling blocks. So we, when we got back to the UK, we contacted the seller and at first they didn't want to take any responsibility um, for them. But after speaking with eBay and eBay getting involved, they, they said they would take them back and send them to, back to Maypole to have them looked at. So we agreed that they, they needed off of me um, photos of the vehicle, uh, photos of the plate that gives you the laden and unladen weight. So all that was sent off. Uh, four weeks went by and no response from the seller. So we got his phone number and we rung him up and he said that he had sent him to Maypole and Maypole was going to be sending them back to Germany to the manufacturer to see if there was a flaw in the manufacturing. Um, another month went by, still nothing. So we started getting a bit annoyed by this time because they were £40 for two. So we waited another month and this was now three months. We got back in touch with him and he said, oh well, Maypole's not returned any information to him what he would do to as a gesture of goodwill would send us two more out well i'm sorry that he's had the old ones back that's the least he could do so he sent me two more out and he said that he'd let me know within a few weeks what maypole had told him well we waited and waited and in the end i phoned him up and he said maypole hadn't we took bonded they had had the product now with him and that he didn't know what was happening or why they had failed. So we got the telephone number off him for Maypole customer services and we run those, I explained everything to the young lady and she said, well, I'm sorry about that. I'll put you through to our technical support manager. Well, he put me through to a manager and I explained again to him and he said, well, in all the ones that they've had and they've sold, they've never had any comeback split. So it's strange that the seller said he had sent them back to Maypole, but Maypole was saying they hadn't had them. Well, I explained it to him and he said, well, he will contact the manufacturers and see if they've gone back to them a different way. And he had come back to me and I'd give them their due. He came back within three days and he said that the manufacturers had noted had had one or two sets sent back and that there possibly was uh, something wrong with the batch 
either the plastic or whatever wasn't strong enough. Um, so Maypole said they'd send me out two more as an apology and I said well look, I don't need them I've already got two more and he said no it's okay um, he said the least we can do is um, send you more out he goes you can either keep them as spares or sell them or do what you like so I said fair enough well they sent me two more out and I passed them on to a relative he's used them now for nine years and he swears by them he said he would never go back to the standard ramps these are so simple to use and it, like I say, what else can you say? They're simple to use and brilliant. You guys, you all know, Carol and I are at the moment going looking for another motorhome, and as soon as we get one and use them, we'll come back to you. But for what they are, they are simple, very easy to use. There's a lot, of, if you look on YouTube, you'll see what Maypole product description and they'll actually show a video of uh, the use basically you just put that by the front of the wheel and you roll on and it just rocks nice and simple to use and like I say hopefully they, they these ones will be good it was just, may a bit just been a bad batch I went through so all I can really say about these is Maypole they did me proud the Sell I wasn't too impressed with, um, but Maypole did me good. And for my cousin who I gave them to, he swears blind by them. And that's all I can say is that he's had them now nine and a half years and no problems. So there you go. That's my review of Maypole's round wheel levers. I well, hope you enjoy the review. It, it's not very good because it's my, my first review, so bear with me. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, share with your friends. And leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye from Carol and I and happy travelling to you all. Bye for now.